Hi, this is Charlie Montefiello with Blue Bear Flutes. Today, I wanted to show you uh, some of our drone flutes. I've made drone flute videos in the past, and this drone flute video is just basically to give you some idea of how they play and how they work, uh, to help clarify some things for you if you have questions. Of course, uh, in addition to these, you can always email me. However, a lot of the people that uh, have asked questions in the past, I think I've remembered a lot of them. So uh, to start off with, here is one of our red cedar drone flutes. has a, a natural oil and wax finish, which of course, over time, if you go back and oil and wax all of our flutes over and over again as they were done originally, you will come out with a flute that, in my opinion, has a far superior shine and, and of course, lasts a lot longer than you will have with one that is lacquered. And of course, it's a lot more natural, so that's a good thing. However, this uh, red cedar flute, it's in the key of A. And of course, as time goes on, I'll show you some different keys. However, uh, this video is just basically to show you how they work. On this drone flute, we have one fingering in the back. There was a time in the old days when I used to put an additional one up here. However, that doesn't always work with the flute. And I've actually discovered a way to make that note without uh, making an extra hole. So that's got to be easier for everybody. And of course, being that it is a five hole flute, it plays all of the same notes that your modern six hole flute, that's the one that you have to keep your finger covering that third fingering all the time, as well as our other six hole flutes. It'll play basically all the notes of, of just about any flute that I've ever played. And uh, in addition to that, you have the drone tone, which is usually the bottom note. And then you'll also have the fingering back here, which is the tonic of that scale. In the case of this being an A, the first fingering you remove is a C, and that hole there lines up with the first fingering, so that makes it this C, which is the tonic of the scale. And in some cases of some flutes, you can blow fast and produce in the drone chamber the octave of the bottom note. So we'll talk about that in just a second. But just to show you a red cedar drone flute, and I'll make some movement here so you can see whenever I uh, move my thumb in the back. course on the drum flute you can also play just the flute side and one of the great conveniences of having a drone flute made in this fashion which is even though the a-frame drones look really nice this is the original style that you would have found um, the original drones that had been discovered by the Kalima culture were in a long tube shape like this. It's not to say that we haven't made other drones in the past that are more of the A-frame or that we won't make more of them in the future. However, the, uh, the Kalima culture's drone was side by side. So that's kind of nice. And of course, the fingering in the back used to be in the old days we would include a plug for that fingering. However, I realized this was such overkill because even the earliest beginner can keep their thumb on the back of it with no problem. And in the case of another version of this flute, this is a white cedar uh, flute that we make. We also make them in western cedar. Sometimes we have only white cedar and sometimes we have only western cedar. It really depends on, on the nature of the, the lumber yard at the time. Uh, so this flute here, is, and they look very similar and they sound so similar. Uh, it's mostly what we notice in the shop when we're making flutes out of them. This flute here also has the fingering in the back, and if you'll hear the tone quality is a little bit um, more mellow, I think, than the red cedar. The red cedar is a lot more crisp and clear, but mellow is really a, a good feature to have, I think, in a, in a Native American flute. So.
case of playing the octave note on the drone chamber side, I'll show you a demonstration of the three notes. So bottom note, middle note, and then cover it up again and blow fast. And that's the octave. So. And with a little practice, you can get to where you blow faster on this side than you do on that side. And a lot of times we do it as a beginner, we do it accidentally because um, you're not used to playing two mouthpieces at the same time. And if you blow too much on one side and too little on the other side, it'll make it play uh, a little out of tune. But with a little practice, like I say, you can, you can play a drone with ease. It's probably one of the funnest Native American flutes to play. Um, and of course, multifunctional because it has a flute side that you can play independently of the drone side as well as several notes on the drone chamber that you can play. Most of our drones that have the finger in the back will play the three notes. Sometimes they'll only play the two, which is the bottom and the next note, which is just basically playing and sliding your finger off. However, due to constraints of the wood, there are times when those are the only two notes it'll play, and in some cases you'll be able to just blow fast and get the other note as well. So. Those are our standard drones there in the key of A. We do make A, G, F sharp. Now we offer E and D drone flutes as well. They're a little bit more expensive. They're a whole lot more to work on to make. So that's why um, our for a beginner, an A or a G drone is absolutely perfect. And F sharp is beautiful sounding. If you can play it, it's a wonderful sounding instrument. Not difficult to play at all. I just recommend something that requires a pinch less air for a beginner than the low tones. Everybody always attracts to the low tones. However, you can make a high tone flute sound really pretty. So that's where we're at now. This is one of our small drones. Um, they have replaced our pocket drones that we used to offer. We still offer a four hole pocket drone at this time. Not sure how long he's gonna be up there. However, he is a tiny little guy. That flute's only about this long, maybe seven inches. This is a high D uh, backpacker drone that we offer. Still has the extra fingering in the back. Usually the fingerings are a comfortable size, just like they are with the A drones and our others. And in the case of playing this little fella, um, once again, the same. You can play just the flute side. say it's a tiny little guy I've been meaning to put the specifics up on our website so I'll get them weighed out for you uh, hikers and let you know I know uh, every every ounce counts um, but uh, in the case of this little guy a wonderful small flute with a really big sound very clear uh, very reasonably priced I've got to tell you probably the least expensive drone flute you can find on the market um, and does that mean it's right for you probably <laughs> the high drone uh, tone sound is richer and fuller than its high tone flute counterpart because playing two flutes at the same time, being the flute and the drone chamber, you tend to create uh, harmony with that and the harmony is what the ear is really listening for more so than pitch uh, in my opinion. But uh, you'll find that this little guy here is a lot of fun to play and certainly is a wonderful flute. Uh, this one of course made out of uh, western or white cedar. We do offer them an eastern red cedar as well. As, uh, as our others. So uh, I hope this video has found all of you well, that you're enjoying your flute, whichever kind of flute that you currently have. If you're looking for one, we're certainly here at Blue Bear Flutes for you. If you need any uh, answers to any questions or want some more comparison contrast info, um, we do have other videos about drones, and of course uh, we'll be making more in the very near future. Don't forget to look at our Aztec and Mayan temple drones. They are just thoroughly amazing. Three fingers on each side, easy to play. Um, but a huge sound, just a major sound. Uh, the fourth and fifth drones that we call them, uh, they're a, uh, an amazing flute. So in either case, uh, once again, this is Charlie Matotiella signing out for Blue Bear Flutes. Uh, that's Blue Bear Flutes on Facebook, Blue Bear Arts. Uh, you'll find us on probably Twitter still and our uh, website, bluebearflutes.com as well. And as always, we look forward to hearing from you very soon. Take care and happy flute playing.